Why should you kill yourself? I'm talking about you. Why should you even have the thought of killing yourself without asking the giver of the word? Of course, we're talking about suicide, the killing of oneself. Why should you even have the thought of it? Why, I'm asking? Because it's not your life. It's the giver's life, the giver of your life. So if you want to kill yourself, the best thing you can do is ask him, tell him, I've got a problem. I want to kill myself. And he has to give you a go ahead. Don't do it yourself. All right? Why do people kill themselves? Sometimes mental illness, that's the diseases of the mind, they make people to want to kill themselves. Of course, because sin entered the world and we are diseased. We have diseases, we have all sorts of problems in the world. That's why people, they think, oh yes, I can end my life. But is it your life? Sometimes traumatic experiences, like abuse, probably, maybe uh, post uh, post-traumatic disorders, you know, maybe you've been to war, maybe you've somebody um, sort of like caused you quite a lot of aggression in the past. You go back and you think about them. Then you think, let me just end my life. There are many things. Sometimes you have an incurable disease. I remember a woman who had arthritis and she had so much pain. A friend of hers is my friend. And then the woman one day, she went into her car and she sat in the car. She took a pipe from the exhaust gas of the car and she put it in, in her nose. And she breathed that and she died. Arthritis. Can't you ask your maker to give you a solution instead of yourself? There are things like people take drugs, sometimes they get confused and then they kill themselves. Sometimes young people, they're not doing so very well in school and they go on, I haven't passed with an A, I got a B and I'm killing myself. But somebody's got a C, somebody's got a, a lower grade than you but they are still surviving life. Why should you kill yourself? Is it a pressure from your parents? And sometimes you're lonely. Should you kill yourself? There is God. There are communities. Be part of it. Be a part of them. Make friendships. Don't kill yourselves. And as well as Sometimes you have no food. Why can't you ask somebody in your village, in your town, or an organization that to help you? Some clothing, go to an organization, a charity organization to help you. Don't kill yourself. Go on to make friendships. Sometimes you have an eating disorder. Go on to the doctor and explain what is happening to you. Don't take your own life. If you're not employed, of course, you might think, oh, I'm suffering. Maybe not just because of unemployment, no. Maybe your relationship has broken down. You might think, oh, this is the end of the world for me. Maybe you might think this girlfriend has said no to me. Or this boyfriend has ditched me, left me. He made me to trust him so much. Now he has just left me. Should you kill yourself? Don't you think there's another girl somewhere around the corner? Oh, another boy. Maybe better than that one. Don't you think? Ask God. He will lead you to something better. Of course there are things like bullying. People bullying you. Sometimes you allow them. Sometimes you may not allow them. But they are the bullies. G 
get out of their way and ask God to give you. People will not. Sometimes you're on the internet, cyberbullying. Try to be strong. Ask God, the giver of life, to direct you in a way and in a life whereby you will not meet those people. God is very faithful. Sometimes you think my family has neglected me. That's why you want to kill yourself. There are many reasons why people want to kill themselves. But should you kill yourself? I've got a verse which I can read to you. Matthew 11, uh, which is verse 28. Have you got your Bible? It's always very important for us to read. If we read, then we know the truth, and the truth will set us free. Verse 28 says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. That's what Jesus says. That's what God is saying. Verse 29 says, Take uh, my yoke upon you, and learn of me. And he says, and I'm meek and I'm lowly in heart. That's what God is saying. And he shall find rest unto your souls. Rely on him. Ask him. He says, come into my heart, Lord, and heal me. Make me right. And verse 30 as well, he says, for my yoke is easy. And my burden is light. That's what God is saying. If a family has neglected you, maybe that's a heavy yoke. But God's yoke is lighter than that. People have bullied you. Maybe you have an eating disorder. Maybe you have into drugs. Maybe you have an incurable disease. As I said, maybe you haven't done well in your examinations final exam to go to university or to go to the next grade maybe at work people have put you down why should you kill yourself ask God God is the one who's gonna lead you because he says here very very clear come unto me O ye that labor and have a heavy burden and I'll give you rest of course don't you think that's a sweet word he says, I'll give you rest, but don't do it yourself. He says, come to me. Because if you try to do things yourself, that's why you find yourself wanting to end a life, wanting to kill yourself. But if you go to him, he will tell you what to do. Sometimes you think, oh, maybe the world will be a better place after I'm gone. Who told you that? The world is a good place with you in it, so don't say that. Sometimes people kill their families. Why? Go away yourself, maybe. Throw yourself into the sea. But leave the family alone, I suppose, because they have a future. They are the creation of God. Beautiful creation of God. Leave them alone. You may be helpless maybe maybe you need money maybe you're in a lot of pain maybe you know you know do, do you know what god does god is very faithful he takes care of the little birds which he made himself uh, i'll read to you matthew 6 verse 25 it says do not be anxious about your life that's what he says. Don't be anxious. Stand up to God and say, God, you gave me this life. Matthew 10 verse 25, 20, 31 says, You are of more value than a sparrow. Sparrow, you know a sparrow? Small little bird. Little one. And then God is saying, the Bible is saying, you are of more value. So why should you kill yourself? Should you really kill yourself? Or should you go to God and say, God, lead me. Show me the way to do right with you. Yes, 
And then God, as faithful as he is, he will definitely give you the way. Don't think that death is the end of your pain. No. Because after death, there is judgment. And God will ask you. He says, oh, here you are now. What happened? That's at the judgment, you know. He will ask you. And then you're going to say, mm, uh, uh, you're going to be wide-mouthed. God, he says, you took the life I gave to you. He would, he would pronounce you guilty if you did that. Because there's a judgment after that. When you die, it doesn't mean that you're rested. You're just dying and waiting in the grave. Go back to the videos I did about death. What happens when a person dies. You're just waiting in the grave. And after that, the judgment will come. Everybody will be raised again. And they'll be judged according to what they have done. And according to what they have said. So, what have you done? By killing yourself, you're taking a life which God gave to you. And I suppose God doesn't like it. We'll talk more about this. What happens? And also, we'll talk about this. Do not kill yourself.